Hello everyone, welcome to the today's video. This is Michelle speaking. In today's video, I'm introducing our new released 250 brew house system. So this system is combined with a mesh lot tank, kettle vapor tank, and a hot water tank. Besides, you will also have the control system coming and also the heat exchanging system. Uh, so all the pipeline and the pumps is coming with this system that you can receive it today. And after you connect with the power supply, then everything is done. So tomorrow will be your brew day. Okay, let's have a look of the, all the details. Okay, let's have a look of the mesh lot tank. So as euro, it combined with the meshing and the lotting process in one tank. So uh, this is the green outdoor. And inside there is a sieve plate, which you will have separated the uh, spent grain and the wood separately. This side is the rims. We call it the rims because it's an outbuilt uh, heating element that can help you to do the multiple step meshing during this uh, meshing process. So it is an uh, outside heating element, which means your wood will come in from the bottom and all the way coming through these heating elements and then go back to your uh, mesh tongue. So uh, during this uh, going through process, it will uh, absorb the heat and will, the uh, meshing temperature will be heated up a little bit according to your uh, requirement. Also the temperature you can see on the control cabinet. Later I will show you uh, the detail function as well. Okay, on side of the mesh lot tank, this one is the kettle vapor tank. So uh, for the kettle, we will have the heating elements inside of this tank to uh, help you to increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and then maintain the boiling process for a long time. And also here is the vapor inlet. After the boiling process, you will have this vapor inlet uh, connected with the pump to have the wort coming from the bottom and uh, tangential go into the tank to generate a very good vapor uh, effect. And then you can uh, harvest the very clear wort uh, and then knocking out to your fermenter. Okay, for this tank, as you can see on the top, there is a conditioning uh, lid. So this lid is a, a flange type. It is clamped by this handle and uh, inside there is a sealed up and you can uh, have a monitor through the top manhole and uh, there is another pipe is a conditioning pipe. Uh, we call it indoor conditioning pipe because this customer uh, for the brew room, uh, they uh, don't have very good uh, situation to vent out the steam. So uh, this device will help you to absorb all the steam uh, during the um, boiling process. For example, uh, it will be at least one hour. So you can imagine this device is very helpful. If your uh, brew room have this kind of situation, you can take that into consideration. Under the kettle tank, this device is a heating, uh, uh, is a heat exchanger. And also uh, we have all the pipeline connected ready. It will be enable you to uh, knocking out the word through this device and also to cool down the word with the uh, extra the cooling source, for example, your tap water, ground water, or the glyco water if you have. Okay, so before the heat exchanger, this device is a hops filter. It, it can help you to filter most of the sediment uh, before it's going to the heat exchanger. Uh, it's kind of a protection and uh, another filtration before going to your fermenter. Okay, we can have a look this side. After the heat exchanger, we have some devices. It's very small, but the function is very significant. So I wanted to show you. So after the word is coming from the heat exchanger, the first one is a temperature gauge. You can see the temperature through this uh, gauge and uh, to make sure uh, the cooling process is good or not. After that, you will come out with a oxygenation device. So this device will help you to generate uh, more oxygen into the wort before it's going to the fermenter. So this is a very good device to help your yeast have a very good fermentation process. Uh, this is a side glass. You can have a look at the color of the wort uh, at the last time before it's going to the fermenter. And this is all the way going to fermenter with a kind of a flexible hose, very convenient. 
Here is a control cabinet, which is the main part to control the heating, the temperature, and also the pump uh, for this whole brew system. Uh, we can go through the uh, details one by one. It is kind of a panel and easy to turn it around with a different uh, direction if you need. And uh, uh, in this side, it is only the main part for the top build. Uh, cabinet and um, all the all the other ca control components is underneath of the control system, uh, which is uh, separate and safe for you to uh, do every brew day with water surroundings. Okay, we have a look of the details. So this one is a hot water temperature, which is this tank. So the sequence is uh, exactly the same as your tanks. And this one is a mesh water temperature, and this one is a boiling temperature. Ah, okay, so on top side is PV, which means uh, present value uh, is the feedback temperature from your tank. And on the bottom, this yellow color, uh, this is SV. Uh, we can think uh, it is a setting value, uh, which is the target temperature you wanted to get to. Uh, for example, we set to uh, 80 degrees Celsius, and currently it is 22 uh, degrees Celsius. Then if we turn the hot water heat to auto, so that will be uh, the heating elements will get the uh, command uh, it needed to start to heat up until the temperature is equal, uh, SV uh, equal to PV, and then it stop uh, until the next time it's getting to the uh, uh, heating uh, stage. Okay, on the bottom, this one is a hot water heat one, uh, and this one is hot water heat two. So this means <coughs> for hot water tank, we also have two heating elements. Uh, it is separated to two parts, and the total value is uh, 12 kilowatt, and separate is each one is six kilowatt. It's very easy for you to uh, save the uh, power, uh, save the electricity um, uh, during the whole process. And uh, each of them have the manual and the uh, auto function. So just now we have mentioned the auto function, which means uh, it will according to the SV value. If it is uh, turning to manual, so that means these heating elements will keep heating until you give it a stop. Okay, uh, for the mesh load tank, we have uh, uh, out build the rims heating elements. It also have menu and auto. The auto is also based on the feedback temperature from the mesh tank. Okay, on the left side, the other end is a kettle tank. The boiling temperature will have uh, two heating elements as well, which is the uh, same as a hot water part. This one is a uh, kettle heat one, and this one is kettle heat two. Both of them is six kilowatt, and a separate. You can have both of them uh, on, and also you can only keep one of them on uh, during the keeping temperature process. Very easy and uh, safe electricity okay besides this we have other menus this one is a hot water pump uh, on and off because uh, for the hot water tank it will have one separate pump is uh, uh, supplying all the hot water to each tank especially the meshing and the long-term process uh, sparging uh, is very important so this pump is uh, only on and off this one is a water pump the water pump is coming with a VFD device, which means the verified frequency device. Uh, so the frequency now is coming from zero. Uh, it, at the maximum can go to 50 uh, Hz. That means the pump speed is starting from zero to the maximum. Uh, so the function of this device is to protect uh, your uh, water pump. And also the most important part is uh, during the long-term process, you know, the sieve plate is sitting there. If the pump is working too much, it will observe the green bed very tight. So that is a kind of uh, mm, broken of the long-term process. So if with this device, it can uh, working slightly with a slow speed, and it can uh, get in the long term the world uh, separated from the green bed uh, very gently. Uh, so this is very helpful. And uh, if it is coming to the vapor process, just give it a maximum value. Uh, so that time is a uh, time to show its power.
Okay, others, this one is the emergency stop, very important and uh, easy to operate. So this is all everything about this device. And what's more, uh, for this customer, we have add a uh, extra uh, timer. So this inside, this is Schneider timer. For example, today we plan to brew a new IPA tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow is a big day in the morning. I wanted to have a very good rest and uh, until eight o'clock, but I wanted to save the uh, power and save the time. So we can set a time here. For example, we set it to uh, 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, then the heating will start from the hot water tank. So that means we set the temperature beforehand, for example, uh, 80 degrees Celsius, and turn one of the heating elements to auto. It will be working until the setting time of tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock. And if it, it is on the auto, so that means when the time is uh, when the temperature is getting to 80 it will stop and also another option is uh, you can set the timer here on at 5 a.m and also uh, the off time is another two hours uh, which means uh, 7 a.m uh, so it will off whenever the time is uh, arriving or the temperature is arriving so uh, both either either all is kind of uh, a uh, good idea and save your time and help you to have a good sleep for the big day okay okay thanks for watching this is the most uh, uh, almost everything about this system if you have similar requirement of this kind of equipment just feel free to send us message or send us email or send us online message our sales representative is very active and on time to reply your requirement we are carry brutech and our system is starting from 100 liters to 5,000 liters. No matter what kind of equipment you are looking for, we are very uh, professional manufacturer that you want to consult with. Okay, uh, thanks for your watching and thanks for your subscribe to our channel. We are also very active on YouTube, uh, Facebook and Instagram. And also we are also active to replying all our customers' uh, requirements and uh, providing free consultation service is what we are good at. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.